Quick question on Latin America. Sure, and then I'll get to you. Sorry. Great. Um, so recently, the U.S. joined the OAS in expressing concerns about Venezuela's democracy, and yet we have yet to see any uh, concerns displayed about what's happening in Brazil. Um, this week, it was reported that the new ruling government, which again was not elected, uh, came to power in a non-elected fashion, has been using the military to spy on the PT, which of course was the incumbent party before they took power. I mean, is that really consistent with democratic norms, and, and why is there sort of an inconsistency in that we're willing to criticize Venezuela sort of violating democratic norms, but we're, we're, we haven't done the same for Brazil yet. Um, I'm not aware of the particular allegations that you've raised um, in, you know, what I've said about Brazil previously uh, remains. Uh, we believe it is a strong democracy, that it has a, the kind of institutions that can weather the political crisis, it's the uh, crisis that it's undergoing. But in terms uh, of your specific do, allegations, do, I just don't have any. Do, do strong democracies allow the military to spy on political opponents? I just said I don't have any. I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any details of what you're uh, alleging. Mark, when you said that you have confidence in Brazil's democracy, would you believe that the impeachment proceeding is legit, and that, that, that uh, you know, as an outside observer, recognizing that you're not wanting to interfere in an internal political? Um, dispute in another country, but mm -hmm. um, as you look at it from the outside, do you believe that the impeachment proceeding is, uh, is a valid one and that they are, the Brazilians are in fact handling this situation in a way that comports with their constitution and their broader um, commitment to democracy? Um. I'm going to leave it where I left it. Just or are you concerned that, that maybe no? No, I, I think, look, I mean, you know, there's no doubt that uh, uh, it's a time of political upheaval in Brazil, but uh, we remain confident in their ability to. So you remain confident in the ability of the Brazilian, of Brazil's institutions to weather this storm. Correct. And return to the. Correct. Can, can I move on to, to the Palestinian Israeli issue? Well, can we back up to Venezuela for a minute of first? Of um, First, do you have any comment on the OAS report on the state of democracy in Venezuela? And also, um, what's the U.S. position on the delays related to the um, recall referendum for Venezuela? So first of all, we do welcome the Secretary General's report. Uh, I mean, you just, those are two very long responses, critical responses, about the situation in Venezuela. And yet Brazil, which is a much bigger country, um, and with a country with which you have enjoyed better relations, merits, what, two sentences? I just, again, I, I don't have anything to, to comment on the, the ongoing uh, political Dimensions of the of the crisis there. I don't. Wait, but you, but yet yeah, you have plenty to say about the political situation in Venezuela. Why is that? Well, we're just we're very concerned about. Uh, the Why aren't current... you very concerned about Brazil? Again, no. Look, I, I, I've said my piece. I mean, I, I don't Clearly. have anything to add. Okay. Can I, can I, can I, can I ask? Really, cabinet raised questions. Does the makeup of the new Brazilian cabinet <laughs> raise any questions? Look, uh, guys, I will uh, I will see if we have anything more to say about the Can situation. Can I ask Chris in a question on the yeah. uh, the peace process? I sure. mean, today there was a, a conference that was supposed to be, but it seemed to, to be anticlimactic 